guys welcome to sanka study success lectures uh, in this particular session i'm going to explain about uh, programming with c and c plus plus language which is a uh, common subject for all universities like jntu k jntu h anantapur and uh, like sathavana university and some other Us usmania university so all universities where is the programming with c language is there c language is there so this is a common topics in all the uh, universities okay so this is a common subject for all universities uh, and as well as today i'm going to explain about in lecture 2 algorithms and time complexity and space complexity okay so let us discuss what is algorithm what are the steps involved in the algorithms actually algorithm is nothing but step by step process so how we can devolve and next one time complexity and space complexity is the two subtopics in algorithm when you got the question in algorithm you have to write the term time complexity as well as space complexity in the answer understand so before going to explain about algorithms let us discuss a small topic that is program development life cycle so program development life cycle is a very important question and this is a five marks question or seven marks question or eight marks question that is based upon the universities okay so very important one this one so actually in order to develop any programming development life cycle it contains uh, six phases so how many steps we have six steps we have in order to develop any program okay so let us uh, I repeat the statement here program development life cycle contains how many phases more six phases so first you mention the six phases first one is problem definition problem definition problem analysis algorithm development coding and documentation and testing and finally we have maintenance okay so likewise we have a six phases or six steps are involved in any program development life cycle so what do you mean by program definition program definition or problem definition okay so this is the first phase okay so we define the problem statement and decide the boundary of the problem in a problem definition okay that means what is our requirement we here you need to understand the problem statement what is your problem first you have to understand okay and define it that is the first phase okay ipudu meeru repodunna software engineers ayinappudu you have uh, some project works first uh, if they assign any project first what you have to do uh, we, uh, before writing the code first uh, you need to understand what is the problem exactly and what are the requirements what i what i need what type of variables what type of functions i have to use in the program first you have to specify the requirement ma okay and then we need to understand the problem statement in the first phase of problem definition then we have to uh, uh, specific output will be there right so for our requirement if we give the these particular values as a input variables then we will get this specific output okay so here what should be the output of the problem solution these are the defined in first phase of the program development life cycle so the first point in problem definition is first is understand the problem okay second you have to read carefully these type of theory part questions okay point wise meeru each and every point ni good pet kovali so first point la enti first of all you need to understand the problem statement and next one what is your requirement just what is your requirement you have not determined the requirement here you have to determine the requirement in the problem analysis part understand it uh, does it make sense right first step first you, you know to you need to know about what is your requirement okay you you should not determine the requirements where you determine the requirements you determine the requirements in the second phase problem analysis so first one is understand the problem and what is your requirement and what should be the output what should be the output for this particular problem solution that is the first phase now come to the second phase problem analysis so in it is the second phase here we determine the requirements like variables what type of variables we have to use what type of the functions we have to use what type of the methods we have to use in order to solve a particular problem understand so that is the second phase this means is what here we gather the information here we just estimate the information we did we cannot determine here we determine the information we have to gather the required resources to solve a particular problem so what is there in the problem definition we understand the problem statement right so for this what are the requirements is needed and we have to define the what we define in the problem definition 
we have to provide the resources we have to provide the resources in problem analysis okay so so in the second step what we have we determine the requirements like variables functions and methods and we gather the information to solve a particular problem which is defined in the problem definition okay and also we determine the bounds of the solution too and next is phase algorithm development so this is a life cycle you you need to write uh, in circle circles i uh, also you can mention it like a problem definition from problem definition to problem analysis problem definition from problem definition to problem analysis from this algorithm from this coding from this testing from this maintenance so this is a life cycle in order to solve any particular problem okay and third phase is what algorithm algorithm development you see here this is our current topic right in this particular video i am going to explain about algorithms that is why i am explain here uh, before algorithms problem development life cycle understand so during this particular phase we develop a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem using a specific uh, specifications that are given in the previous phases so here in this particular phase we gave some specifications and in this particular phase we gave some specifications right so based on the specifications which are mentioned in the previous phases in this phase in this phase okay based on the specifications we determine the we develop a some step by step procedure to solve a particular problem so this is very important for program development because uh, we write the we write the program code that depending on the algorithm only so we algorithm is not a programming code that is our understandable language and algorithm does not understand by the computer too okay so in this particular phase it is very important for program development that means we write the solution in step by step statement that is why algorithm is nothing but what step by step procedure i repeat the statement algorithm is nothing but what step by step procedure okay so in this particular phase what we require the what is the first point edaithe maniki previous steps lo previous two phases lo evaithe mana specifications teeskuntamo aa specifications ni use chesi we we develop a step by step procedure here okay so this is very important uh, program this is very important for program development and this uh, this means what we write the solution in step by step statements okay so hope you understand this particular concept up to here and next one coding and documentation so after problem definition after analysis after algorithm development we have a coding and documentation coding in the sense what here you need to write the programming language we have to use the programming language any programming language so that means in the subject is c language and c++ so you must write you must use the c language or c++ language in order to write a programming okay so sometimes you can use a java you can use the python all these are the programming languages too so so this is a particular program development life cycle for any programming for any programming not only for particularly c c lo program rastene ee development life cycle untunda leda c++ lo rastene ee development life cycle untunda leda java lo program rastene ee development cycle untunda ledhu meer ededa oka program ni teeskondi aa program ni raskune tappudu you can use any language okay in, in order to write a program okay you can use any language like you can use c language you can use c++ you can java you can use .net you can use python so likewise we have a mini programming languages so you can use any programming languages but these are all the basic life cycle basic uh, phases in any program development so after writing the algorithm after after algorithm development we have a coding and documentation part so here this phase is here uh uses the programming languages to write or implement the actual programming instructions okay so in this we can construct the actual program this means we have to write the program to solve the given problem okay ikkada manam enti program ni rastamo mana problem solve avadaniki we write the prog uh, we write the coding okay so our coding ki meeru you can use any programming language like c language c++ java dot net python and all understand so we but chaala language ochay tabala chaala ochay anamata so you can use any one okay and next one testing and debugging so after writing a programming after writing a program you have to check whether the code written that is correct or not okay 
So, in this particular phase, we check whether the code written in previous step. So, what is the fourth step? And the key steps are to be tried. Okay, now first problem definition and next problem analysis and next algorithm written and next coding and next testing and next maintenance. These are the serial steps. So, in first testing, we have the problem definition. We have to do the steps one by one. So, coding, we have to do testing. Whether our correct, we have to do the correct thing. 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 Okay, so during this phase, we have to do the correct thing. 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 We test the program. We calculate the program whether मानो रासना program है ना दी मानो कौन ना problem नहीं solve चेस तो ना लेदा आदि मानो एकड़ check चेस था fifth phase check चेस था okay we also test that whether it is providing the desired output or not okay not only not only checking the program correct or not whether that particular program whether that particular program gives the desired output or not that also we can check in this particular step okay and next one maintenance so the last phase in the program development life cycle is maintenance so we have to after writing the program after writing the coding after checking the program okay if it is correct one we have to maintain the program so this means what solution is there the solution is used by the whom end user so for example you are a software engineer okay and you have a client some you have a client us client me konnaru so you are writing uh, he ask some he gave some problem so daniki meeru uh, program ni development chesaru with the help of c language or java language you write a program for this particular problem okay so after all writing the steps all the program writing and desired output vachin tarata ultimately who can use this particular program ha huh? who can use but ultimately end user end user the client will be used this particular program right so the program is actively used by the users if any enhancement found in this phase all the phases have to be repeated again to make the enhancements so maintenance ipudu meer ikkada represent chesaru client ki yes client ki oka step e nashledu i want this instead of this he may ask because he hired you he recruit you okay you are working you are uh, you are employed under this client so if the client is uh, uh, somewhat he want some more extensions so again you can repeat the statements again you can repeat the all the phases and again and again repeated again okay to make the enhancement this means what the solution is used by end users if any if any chance by chance enhancement is there okay we need to repeat the all the phases from starting onwards so again problem definition and problem analysis and then algorithm and then coding and then testing okay so a step degra maniki repeat avutunayi at the stage of maintenance at the stage of maintenance again repeat the program so that the all the encountered problem is solved or enhanced is added okay so this is a direct question very important one uh, what are the different phases in program development life cycle nadu gochu leda what are the program what is the program development life cycle so as a software engineer if you write a programming what are the phases or involved in a, in order to write a programming so ilante type of questions meek adige chance anedi untundi okay that's based upon university they will give the assign, assigning the marks like 5 marks 7 marks or 8 marks okay it is not a 15 marks question okay no worries it is a small question 5 marks question only so you you can write the like program problem problem definition you you need to write the definition like uh, life cycle like this problem definition problem analysis right problem analysis and next one what is the next step algorithm written we have to write the algorithm right ee land diagrams draw chesthe neat ga marks padtay anamata next after algorithm we need to write the program right so that is what coding okay after coding what is that testing after testing what is that so in next maintenance we have uh, next step maintenance we have 
so after maintenance if any uh, wrong is there or any enhancement is there or any specifications are required again program problem definition is started okay so this is the actual life cycle of any program development okay so this is the basic thing for any programming okay if you want to write a program with c if you want to write a program with c++ or any java language or python language okay so many dot net many language are existing no so in order to write any programming this is the basic thing okay so very 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 important question hope you understand everyone so in the next class i'll explain about algorithms and time complexity i'm sorry so in heading at pattern gani but idinike chaala time ayindi so i'll stop here